friends, and welcome to an early access review of Star Equestrian by Foxy Ventures. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first horse game to be released in 2023, so some very exciting stuff. Now, I do have to really quickly disclose that I did actually work with Foxy Ventures on this project a little bit as their consultant. So I did have um, some say in what went into the game. However, I have not fully seen the final product. Now, um, I have noticed that as I have logged on, some of the quests are already done. Um, I probably did this in in my playtesting. Um, but in a way, this is better because you guys can actually experience the full thing for yourself. So we're kind of jumping in. We've already got a horse and we can really get stuck into some gameplay. So as you can see on screen, this is sort of the setup. This is the UI. I have to admit, when I first saw the game, seeing this graphic style made me nervous because I was worried my phone might overheat if I played it for too long. But I can confirm, I played it for over an hour before and uh, I had no issues. So I actually have this on the high graphics and I believe... I believe this is actually the starting arena. You might actually already start here, um, which is really nice. And of course, I picked up this gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, what, would, what would you guys call this coat? I would just say like, is it like a silver dun or something? It's very cute. I like it a lot. Oh, boing. Right, let me go ahead and actually figure out where I'm supposed to be going. So we'll go ahead and open the map. Now, this map is actually kind of huge. Um, there's all of this stuff that is going to come later, I believe. Um, but for the minute, we still have heart side open. And that's us over here. So we're going to need to... I'm pretty sure the exclamation marks are quests. Um, and I did want to do some racing today as well. So I think I'll just just take a stroll and see, see where we end up. So the mechanics in this game are a little bit more unique. Um... So essentially, I don't know if you see up top, there is sort of like a speed bar. And when, if you actually look at the timing, so I press the up button and it sort of like buffers up, which is something that I haven't seen a lot in horse games. Uh, they tend to give you instantaneous speed changes, which I actually kind of like because it allows me a lot more control because if you know me, I don't like mobile games. I pretty much never play mobile games. The only mobile play game I actually played in my free time was Wild Song, um, because of the whole like screen is so tiny and a little scrunchy hands trying to control things. However, this has actually been working really well for me, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Now, oh here, there's actually a quest here. Oh, there's a lady here. Hello. Oh, that's so cool. Here, I'll recenter my camera. Um, she's so cute. Hi. Uh, compete harness in the wind, so we'll talk to her. So, I'm not sure if you've heard, but I'm kind of a big deal around here. Just all the Valley Heartside Juniors riding champion. But you know, whatever. No big deal. Something you will learn about this game is that all of the characters have just immense sass. Like, there is no amount of sass that is missing from these characters. <laughs> so anyway, it looks like you've started riding courses here too. Ha, huh, that's cute. It's giving Loretta, and I love it. Old Loretta. Look, I don't want to be that girl, but I did just compete Harness the Wind cross country in 109 with no fault. So if you can beat that time, well, I mean, you won't. So why bother trying? Okay, I will now beat you. Uh, so we have to actually do this cross country track. And oh yeah, this is, that's my horse's name. My horse's name is Melody and she's an Australian stock horse. Um, so I will actually go ahead. Oh, uh under recommended stats okay later Lacey I don't need your negativity in my life um one thing that I really wanted to go have a look at is this game actually has so much more than I thought it did um not only is it open world it's multiplayer there's like a ranch building element um and I think there's also bonding there's also horse bonding which is just insane. Actually, let me click my horsey. Yeah, so this is... Oh, look, I've got... Uh, oh, I've only got level one. I was about to be really proud of my bond with my horse, but I don't have any yet. Um, so this is Melody. Now, I've forgotten how to increase stats. When you obtain horses of the same breed, you will earn levels of horse mastery. Mastery will grant your horses a massive bonus unique to their breed. That's so cool. So basically, if you're a collector in games you're probably gonna like that feature quite a lot. So I do have just not great saddles. Um, oh, actually, oh yeah, look. So as you get more mastery, you like unlock different like hairstyles and stuff. That is, that is awesome. Okay, and feeding, I'm pretty sure this is how, oh, agility XP. Okay, I'll take more XP. I won't say no to that. Right, we'll go ahead and level up. Uh, have I got anything else? Yes, I'll just, I'll just feed Melody to the moon and back. 
Okay, so Melody's now level five. What's my bonding? What is my bonding of my horse? Oh, it's still level one. I'm pretty sure to bond, you have to... Let's dismount. Uh, is it care? Pet side. Oh, look at us! Oh, the horse gave me cuddles! <gasps> yes, please. A horsey cuddles. Okay, let's go ahead and mount. And we'll actually go and have a look at... I did want to do a quest today, but it's going to be a case of finding a quest I can actually do. Look at this girl. Collect a lettuce? Wait, collect a lettuce? Oh, I think also the sidebar that you saw come up in green. Yeah, that one. Is horse uh, stamina. Wait, there was lettuce around here I could collect. Collect lettuce. Plus one lettuce? Yes, please. I'm, I'm a forager now. I can just grab grab stuff from the world that's so cool okie dokie so we've now entered the town area i'm pretty sure this is called heartside i think the town's called heartside now i'm actually going the wrong way the person is over here are they around the back can i get in there oh i'm in the chicken coop i'm in i can collect eggs i can just nick people's eggs i hope nobody minds Imagine if it was like Skyrim, where if you stole stuff, everybody like came after you. <laughs> that would be awful. Ooh, there's a man here that I think I'm supposed to be talking to. Why don't you just stand around the back of the house, you weirdo? Keegan, nothing like the smell of nature on the breeze, is there? Ah, don't mind me, I just can't get enough of the outdoors. There's a reason you won't see me scurrying around in town much. Actually, you do look pretty capable. How'd you like to learn about the land? If you can go out and find some apples and wheat, I'll tell you what I know. <gasps> so he's sending me out to get stuff. That was what I was most enjoying a second ago. Uh, so you can actually track the quest. Oh, that's cool. And it comes up on the side. So got to collect five wheat, collect five apple. Can do. Now there is actually another... Wait, is it coming up on the map? Are those little lettuce things telling me that there's stuff to collect? Oh, look at that big hefty boar. Big hefty boar. Yeah, there is! Okay, that's so cool. So, when there's stuff to collect, it'll come up on the little mini-map, and you can see it so you know which direction you should be going in to go and try and collect stuff. That is awesome. Let's... Oh, the music is actually so nice. It's giving, like, nostalgic horse games and also, like, fantasy games. I like the music a lot. It's so serene. Right, there was also, um... Right, it's at the other side of town, so I've got to navigate my way over there. Um, let's go ahead and see. Aha! Okay, so this, this, I've forgotten her name, but this lady would like to talk to us. Uh, talk. Lucy, what to do, what to do? They keep piling up more work on me. How do they expect me to review all of these courses? You look pretty talented. How do you like to write a course for me? If you do well enough for my report, they might not make me adjust the course. So basically, Lucy... You're not doing your job properly. Right, uh, complete Ring Around the Rosies course. Can I? I can. Am I not good enough for this? Hmm, I'm not good enough for this. I'm not just, I'm just not, this game just telling me I'm not good enough. Okay, I, one thing I definitely wanted to go see was, yes, so you basically own a ranch, and like, you actually own the ranch. I'll show you how it works. This absolutely blew me away when I first saw it. Um, uh, it's kind of like Sims meets horse game, if that's exciting. Um, basically, I'm pretty sure you go in here and you press the this button. So placing a horse in the store gives us bonuses depending on your rancher's building point level. From XP boost to larger gold rewards from events. Stalled horses are still accessible, riding them is not affected. Okay, so um, I did kind of just put the stall outside. Um... I'm a great horse owner, uh, um, and I don't actually have enough money to, like, get... Oh, here, wait. I don't have enough money for that. So I think you can actually put down the barn and put the stall inside, but at the minute, Mel Melody's an outside horse. That's that's what she wants. So do you see what I mean in that it's, like, Sims? And, like, you can literally, like, drag it around, place it. Um, you could put stuff inside the building. Um, then also, I think you can go into the house as well. You can, you can, yeah, you can move the house around, but how do I, how do I get in? Aha! So yeah, you can literally decorate inside the house, right? And then when I exit, it'll be there. I can actually, like, go inside. Look, there's Melody. She's just in her outdoor stall, is what. It's, it's new, it's trendy, it's hip. Um, 
definitely good for them, so don't at me. Uh, and yeah, you can literally come inside. That is a god-awful bed. I don't like that yellow. I can lay down. Oh, <laughs> look at me. I'm just chilling. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, um, so we can actually open the stall door, and I think we can horse mount. We, yeah, we can mount it inside the stall. And off we go. That's so cute. I love that so much. I... I'm definitely gonna have to get me some coins and just go absolutely ham on this ranch because I want to make like a really big ranch with lots of stalls and I'll get loads of horses as well. I think, how, is there like a horse? I'm pretty sure there's like an auction house somewhere. Horses? <gasps> look at the horses! Oh my gosh, that's, oh look, there's a kibitz, it's a bit, it's a pentamian. <laughs> I hope there's a sporkle variation. You, no, no sporacle. This one's cute though, the Frisian. Wow. Oh, and here's a normal Frisian. Oh, I got me. I gotta get me a Frisian at some point. Lovely. Okay, so we're back in the main world. I was about to say the overworld, like it's Minecraft. It's not Minecraft. Um, so we've actually got some some questies to do now. There was actually one right up the top that I wanted to have a look at, but while literally on my way to the next quest i can actually do one of them if i pick up i think it was wheat and apples so i'll just keep an eye out for some some wheat and some apples oh it's so peaceful riding around here there's just like the sound of water Ooh, collect turnip yes please it's just like the sound of water and like soft piano music it's just so so wonderful now I did say it was a multiplayer game, but I'm pretty sure you won't see anybody because this is like the early access version and um, It hasn't actually been released as of recording. Uh, right. I think we have to go up here It reminds me so much of Skyrim It's so lovely up here, right? Where is this quest lady? Oh, she's right here or he sorry um, uh, Sorry let me just go around and over your campfire. Hi, sir. Talk. Chester. Well, 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 what do we have here? Is this the intrepid explorer I see standing bef before me? I might be known to explore a place or two. What's it to you? Oh, that sounded a bit me. Like, what's it to you, bro? Chester's the name. Chester's the game. If you've been wondering about the land, you may have noticed a few chests scattered around. Oh, those are yours? Nay, they belong to whoever is lucky to find them. Find us keepers, as it were. But now I take a look at you. Yes, I can see it. See what? Is there something on my face? <laughs> Only look of adventure. I've been waiting to meet somebody with the same passion for discovery as I. In fact, I propose a deal. One adventurer to another. If you can show me you have what it takes to track down chess as well as yours truly, I then I will allow you to share in some of my own treasures. Now go forward. Your adventure awaits. Yes, please. Okay, so there's just chess that we can find in the world. This is so cool. Oh god, I've fallen off a cliff. Oh, don't tell me it's gonna kill me. Oh. My horse's got spongy legs, apparently. Okay, so that, there's no fall damage. That's kind of nice. I was a bit worried for a second that I had, um... I'd splattered my horse, but it's all fine. So, complete escape the river, earning at least two ribbons. Let's try that. It, it's gonna tell me that my stats aren't high enough. Okay, we're gonna ignore that. Mm -hmm. Just gonna try and do as best we can. Okay. Let us go. Right. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I didn't, I did not even see the jump there. I genuinely did not see the jump. Okay, I need to be paying way more attention. And I just got a fold. Um, I think the game maybe wasn't saying my horse isn't prepared. I think the game's saying I'm not prepared because I am clearly not good at this. I might need a few riding lessons. I won't lie. Okay. Oh, I did it this time. Oh, I did okay. All right, that's fine. I, okay, okay, I'll take it. Fault. Ooh, this is going great. This is just going so well. Okay, what we're going to do is, because my horse is not qualified enough, we'll actually do, I think, this one. There's, like, cross-country in the game, and I think there's also jumping. Um, I think I have done a bit of the jumping, but the cross-country is actually harder. So we'll see how we do now. So let's go ahead and... Gallop. So I have to be very aware of my stamina. Otherwise, this is gonna suck. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and 
Maybe I shouldn't be galloping. I feel like I'm not good enough to be galloping yet. Okay, let's just take this to the counter, yeah? Yeah! See, that time I- I got it perfect! Heck yes! Okay, let's go ahead and- I tell you what we'll do. We'll have to balance it by galloping to the fence, but not over the fence. That's- that's my idea. So I can see there's a jump over there, so we'll slow down now. Gain some stamina. That was great! Yes! Let's go! Okay. Da 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 Oh, there, there's the finish! Oh! Were we over time? Or did we do good? We were over time by like two seconds. Oh! Right, so that is pretty much it for like core gameplay. I really want to do more of the um, main quest. What was that? There's a floating hay bale. Sir? Talk? Miles, why are you just a hay bale? <laughs> okay, I will disclaim this quickly. I should have probably said it at the beginning. I might have done actually. Uh, this is obviously an, uh, like an early access build, so there might be bugs like Miles turning into a hay bale. Um, don't mind that. <laughs> I have to say this is like a really nice world to explore in and I have noticed one thing that really, really bugs me about mobile games is that when they have open world elements, Things like the horse getting stuck or like being um, like trapped in a certain area or just generally not having great control of my horse is super annoying. But I didn't actually get this here. Um, I actually really like your horse sort of is a little bit acting like it's star stable in terms of like it has stamina unlike star stable but it does allow you to like jump over fences for instance. It allows you to kind of go as the crow fly flies and that's my apples. I wanted all of the apples because I am trying to finish the quest. Um, but yes, I really like the fact that I can sort of explore the world without feeling like frustrated by the fact that I'm going to get stuck. Let's, oh, we could go through the water. Did I see collect apple there as well? Oh no, collect watermelon. Heck yes. Okay, my horse has the worst diet imaginable. Um, I'm just force feeding it loads of watermelons and pumpkins. Um, no grain, no hay, just just watermelon. Um, but that's fine. The horse seems perfectly happy and so you can collect butterflies? Come here. What do I do with the butterflies? <gasps> it actually gives you the butterflies! You can trade for resources in the world? <gasps> Cute! Can I bring them to my house? Can I put them down in my house? That would be really cute. Let's have loads of butterflies. Um, so that is sort of my first impressions of this game. Obviously, I did sort of play test it a little bit before, um, but there was a fair amount of stuff that I hadn't had uh, a proper look at. So that was really nice. Now, um, I will have up on screen all of the uh, release times. I'm pretty sure it's going to iOS first. Sorry, Android users. However, it will be out for Android as soon as uh, possible. That's all I know. Let me know in, your, in the comments your thoughts. I'd like to hear um, what you think about the game. If you think you'll like it any feedback you have as well uh, i'd love to hear all about it so i hope you guys enjoyed stay positive and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye